electronic device falls into your seat, please do not adjust your seat and contact a crew member for assistance. If you are seated at an overwing exit, your window shade must remain open for taxi, takeoff, and landing. All belongings and proceed to the closest usable exit. Welcome to the vlog. We are going on a trip. Today is Thursday, April the 11th. And yes, I'm wearing a mask because someone behind me is coughing and I just don't play that. <laughs> so the, air, the plane that we're riding, uh, take, it looks like it's pretty full. Um, so I'll show you where we're going in just a minute. I will be wearing my mask. We have reached our destination of Barbados for the first time. So this is Robin, our driver. He came highly recommended by Gloria and Jay of Jay Glow Vlog. He picked us up at the airport and took us to the hotel. We arrived at the hotel and then he also um, took us to some other places while we were in Barbados. He comes highly recommended. So beautiful. Oh, look at this beautiful plant. Look at that. That's beautiful. Aloe vera, yeah. So after we checked into our hotel, we and had our bags taken to our space. Robin took us to a local grocery store so that I could pick up some fresh fruits to take back and have in the in our space while we were in Barbados. Oh. Oh. All right, friends, here's a quick review of the space that we had while we were in Barbados. It is a one bedroom dinette. It's like a one bedroom apartment. We were placed on the first floor. Um, it has a patio. If you were on the second floor, it would be a balcony, but because we're on the first floor, it's a patio. Very nice hotel, very nice space, highly recommend it. If you would like to see the full review, just click the eye. Wow, look at this tree. It's in front of the hotel. But look at the waves today. Y'all, Barbados got some waves for you. Look at these waves. And they got cabanas. The waves are There is a full restaurant on the resort called Calabash. The food was very delicious. We ate there uh, several times. Morning friends. So yeah, it um I got in yesterday about uh 2:33 o'clock to Barbados. So hectic, I wasn't able to film. Um let me show you guys a little bit of the beach. We're staying at a place called Bougainvillea. Villa. Bougain Villa. I may be saying it wrong. <laughs> don't don't come for me. Bougain Villa. It's a flower, so it's called Bougain Villa. Bougain Villa. Um it's the name of a fly. But since we've been here, the waves have been crashing. Let me show you guys a, a look at the waves. Um, last night, they were a little bit, the tide was um, coming in. It came in pretty far last night, but it's just the waves are crashing waves. They were a little bit stronger last night than this morning, but they're still like crashing. Let me show you.
Um, let me give you a good look at the hotel from this end. There is a review of the hotel or a walkthrough of the hotel up on my page, so you can go take a look at it. Yeah, but this is the outside view of the hotel. Most of the rooms have a partial ocean view. Some of them have a complete ocean view. The ones in the middle there have a complete ocean view. And then some of the ones tucked in the corner there have a complete ocean view. But if you're on this side or on this end here, you'll have a partial ocean view. And where we are, we have a partial ocean view if we're out on the terrace or balcony. Well, it's really a terrace because it's on the bottom floor. Um, like a balcony counter, but... We're on the ground floor, so I'm calling it a terrace patio. But yeah, we're going to go over here to Calabash and get something to eat. It's very be beautiful property. Um, I'm not sure how old it is. It is um, a stucco. Most of the most of the hotels here are uh, in stucco. So it's stucco, and it's kept really nice, well clean, beautiful vegetation. Let me show you this beautiful plant here. So beautiful ve vegetation around, beautiful flowers, the trees, palm trees. So yeah. Um, so later I will be, uh, I'll show you guys a little bit of Barbados. When I got in last yesterday, it got through customs, it got to the room, got checked in. We went to get something to eat. My phone died in the mist. <laughs> I was trying to charge it on the plane, but it wasn't working. So I wasn't able to film. And I am filming with my phone right now, so I hope you guys get a good view, but stay tuned for more Barbados. So friends, I love to show um, vegetation when I'm somewhere. Um, let me show you guys this old tree that I'm looking at. It's very big, it's huge while I wait for breakfast. It's, it's providing it's providing a lot of shade that's needed um, because as you can see the sun is coming out it's already 84 degrees so this tree is providing a lot of shade it's a little overcast today sun is in and out it's cloudy kind of like but we're going to the beach for a little while before it gets too hot but when I woke up this morning it was 82 degrees so the water though see if we can find a one with a umbrella oh it's such a beautiful be beautiful view I think all the chairs are taken though god leash leash and beast several videos including a friend of mine's videos that Yama, Barbados Yama. has a lot of primates Yama. monkeys um, so we were talking to a bartender last night he said they have 280,000 monkeys here which is almost the same as the population of the humans here <laughs> it's a lot but we haven't seen one yet So we're going to Pat's for lunch right here. And they grilling it right here on the grill. I want the salmon. So we tried Pat's for lunch, but Pat was out of a lot of the items that we wanted like snapper and salmon. Pat's is very popular. It sits right on the front row of the front by the street at Oysters. And later that night when we went back, Pat's had a line down the block. So Pat's is very popular. But we ended up eating at Moe's for lunch. And then we just walked around Oysters for a while. 
So we're back on the beach for a little while before we go back to oysters later tonight. The tide is coming in. Let me show y'all. It's coming all the way into here now. The waves are crazy. All right, friends, we're getting ready to go back to Oyston's. Um, it's the place we were at earlier. We're going back and we're going to eat at, I think it's called Uncle George's. That's what we're eating. We ate at um, we ate at Moe's Grill today for lunch, but we're eating at Uncle George's for dinner. And Pat's was another place that I thought about doing, but she didn't have a lot of stuff. So we're going to do Uncle George's. I think I'm going to have, um, I'm not, we'll see. We'll see what I have. All right, I'm going to bring you guys along. Very beautiful tonight. It's kind of like uh, 80. You know, it's not humid here at all. It's not humid. It's warm, but it's not humid. I guess maybe because we're by the we're by the uh, beach, the ocean. So it's always a breeze blowing. Oh, here we go. Y'all, we reached oysters. Look at all these people. So Friday night fish fry in oysters is very popular. This night, it was just astronomical. Like, it was so many people. I couldn't believe how many people were here. I have seen many videos of oysters. Um, I've never seen it this packed, but it could have been. But I haven't seen a video where it was this packed. Um, they have a lot of entertainment, a lot of vendors, food, of course, drinks. And it's just a nice place to be on a Friday night. So we ended up going to Uncle George's, which is very good. I highly recommend Uncle George's. If you go to Oysters when you visit Barbados, try Uncle George's, uh, Moles, or Pat's. Okay, here's Uncle George's menu. I'm having the salmon. And On Saturday, we took a tour of the island. We had our driver, Robin, take us to Rihanna's house, Rihanna Drive. Um, we got to go through Bridgetown, and we're going to stop through Bridgetown on our way back to our hotel. Uh, after we visited Rihanna's house, we went to QP Bristo, QP B Bistro, QP Bistro, which is in St. James, a very nice restaurant. It's highly recommended. You'll see some footage of the restaurant coming up here soon. So we reached Rihanna's house. It's tiny, tiny. Yeah, that's where she grew up right there. Finally reached this very tourist. Named after her. So house is pretty close. Cool. Friends, so we made it to QP Bristol. Name correction is QP Bistro, which is in St. James. We had to drive a little ways to get here to this restaurant. It's right on the cliff. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of the restaurant. It's very beautiful, and um, we're just doing breakfast here this morning. And I'll leave some images. Pretty good breakfast. I had the salmon. Anthony had the uh, English breakfast which includes baked beans, the English put baked beans on their breakfast. So I had the smoked salmon with boiled eggs. I usually don't eat eggs, but when I'm away, I have to eat what I can eat. And then he had the English breakfast. So friends, I decided to add some QP Bistro footage here so that you guys could um, see a little bit more of the restaurant. Um, I did go to um, Bridgetown after this. My phone died, so I was not able to shoot any footage, so I decided to add some more footage of the restaurant. Sorry about that, but Bridgetown, we went to the market, and we caught a little bit of a little mini carnival, some advertisement they were doing. Here's an image from that. Okay, hi friends. We are spending most of the day on the beach today because we've been out most of the morning. We went to Rihanna Drive to see Rihanna's childhood home just to get do a few tourist stuff. Then we went to Bridgetown Market, 
and I bought a few things that I'm gonna um, eat in the room at the marketplace and while we were there we caught a little bit of a kind of like a carnival it was a parade that they're promoting some stuff and the stilt walkers were there some men on stilts which are pretty good and then we um last night we did all oysters and it's just so many people were at oysters and um barbados is a very live very live island like it's a lot of movement it's a lot of people in a condensed area and they are going and coming Every time we leave, it's like hustle and bustle. They're moving and moving and moving. But I like it. We've enjoyed ourselves. Really nice island. And the weather's been very nice. It rained this morning. It started around 2 or 3 in the morning. And then it was wet when we woke up this morning. And then it rained a little bit when we were coming back from St. James area. We ate at a beautiful restaurant called QP Bristol. QP Bistro. Sorry, guys. I'm going to show you some clips of it. QP Bristol is on a cliff. It's a very nice restaurant. The food was very good. We did like brunch, kind of. And um, tonight we're just going to kick back and relax and stay in the room and eat some food from um, the restaurant that's on the resort, which is called Calabash. It's pretty good. I had a salad from them last night. It was good. Then we'll be um, starting to get our things together to head out of here. The waves have been crashing since we've been here, so we haven't been in the water. I'm not really one to go in the water anyway. I usually just sit on the beach. And um, I don't see the purpose of sitting by a pool when you have a beach to sit on. So, so yeah, that's where we are so far. Stay tuned for more. I got these little clips on Amazon. It's like a whole pack of these little clips. I'm gonna leave a link so you can go check them out if you wanna look into those. Um, I got some in the back. But I brought the moon and the stars, the ones on the back of the stars. Friends, please excuse this sound quality. Hello, YouTube fans. So, I am enjoying my last day on the beach. I love the beach so much. I can live on the beach. I am a true water sign because I love the smell of the sea. I love the sound of the ocean. I love the sand, um, the breeze, the sunshine. And it's just so calming and relaxing for me. It just does something for me. I could live by the beach or by the sea or by the coastline. I could live very close to the coastline. At home, I am about two hours, 45 minutes from the beach. And we do make regular trips there during the summertime. So that's good. All right, let me give y'all a look at the beach. I mean, at the sea. Let me let you see the waves today.
All right, friends, here's another view of the open lobby concept that this villa has. Um, it's open. It's, there's no um, windows or anything that you have to walk through to get to the lobby. You just go up the stairs and it's open. So here's a view of that. Gorgeous place. And they have an outside bar area. I may have already showed you guys this part, but this is the outside pool area. Robin, wave, wave at the camera. I'll send this to Gloria. <laughs> Thanks, Gloria and Jay. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. I'm going to be recommending Robin to a few people that's coming in town from my hometown. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>